What is going on everybody? Sports Expert here and we are doing another MLB Rumors video today and yeah we're gonna have a lot more videos coming out and everything. Hopefully the lockout uh you know there's some traction between the two sides about a deal but I'm not sure what's going on right now but for daily MLB rumor videos and reports. Please hit the subscribe button for new. Turn on the post notification bell. Like the video. It would mean the world to me. Comment what you think it would mean the world to me. We cover every team on here, including the Yankees, Blue Jays, and other teams. So yeah, breaking. Yankees and Blue Jays looked at top free agent before lockout. So an article uh, from Ken Rosenthal came out today, and the Yankees and Blue Jays both looked at this top free agent before the lockout. We'll get into it right here. The New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays looked at free agent shortstop Corey Seager before the lockout, and the Blue Jays seemed more interested than the Yankees as New York was not serious in serious talks but showed many interest. The Blue Jays showed major interest but were outbid by the Rangers at the end. So the Yankees and Blue Jays are in the shortstop market, that's for sure, but the Yankees did not want to pay Seager all that money for ten, about uh, 10 years. And the Blue Jays, it seemed like they were uh, competent uh, with paying Seager the money. But at the same time, it seemed like he, he, they were just outbid by the Rangers. The Rangers went overboard and offered Seager uh, a crazy deal that Toronto did not want to offer. And I don't blame Toronto. I think the Rangers quite, quite overpaid the uh, Seager. But uh, at the same time... You know, they gave Semyon seven years, which is, you could argue that's an overpay too. So, I mean, the Rangers overpaid their players a bit. You kind of have to do that, though, when you're kind of going in, a, you're in a rebuild and you're not a great team. So, the Blue Jays and the Yankees got a bit, got a bit outbid due to, that, due to that case, but they will definitely be pursuing multiple free agents after the lockout. And Chris Bryant will be on the Blue Jays radar. And for the Yankees, likely on the trade market will be Matt Olson on their radar and maybe Chris Bryant miraculously, but I don't know about that. We'll see what happens. But the Yankees and Blue Jays are definitely looking at, they were definitely looking at Seager. The Kansas City Royals want to build a championship contender bull, caliber bullpen. This was in the in Rosenthal's article too. Around their young players and players such as Trevor Ro Rosenthal and Yusmero Petit are in the interest of the Royals. Rosenthal didn't have a great campaign with the Royals. Um earlier but then you know Rosenthal in his um later in his campaign with the Royals he was very solid for them they traded him to the San Diego Padres I mean for a you know prospect capital and cash so Rosenthal he was a solid reliever for the Royals but then the Royals just wanted to ship him off and get some value but it seems like they're interested in a potential reunion it was a great fit last time why not try to make it a much a, a, you know, an even better fit, a much better fit. Or maybe a guy like Yusmero Petit, a bit older, but still very solid and very uh, trusty. He definitely uh, could be a much cheaper option too, and he's a very solid reliever. These are two guys that the Royals could look at, and they are very high on potentially upgrading that bullpen. That's the Royals' number one priority this offseason is the bullpen, not the offense because they know what they have on offense already and what they have in the future and the pitching staff too. They'd rather let those guys develop and develop and add to the bullpen, which is more than likely their weakness right now. The New York Mets have another managerial interview completed. They've completed an interview with Dodgers for space coach Clayton McCullough. So Clayton McCullough is another candidate that's popped up for the New York Mets. The Mets have about almost about 10 candidates now for the managerial position. It's going to be interesting to see where they go. A couple days ago, they interviewed former A's manager Bob Guerin, but we'll see what happens. It's interesting what the Mets will do. A lot of people are on the Buck Show Walter train. A lot of people aren't, and that's the guy that's gained the most traction in these uh, managerial talks for the Mets. So if you're a Mets fan, how do you feel about this? Who do you want as manager? It should be interesting to see what happens, but what do you who do you guys want? You know. The San Francisco Giants and the Atlanta Braves have completed a trade today. The tr Giants are acquiring right-hand pitcher Tanner Andrews from the Braves in exchange for cash. Just a relief pitcher. Don't know much about him. Maybe they uh the Giants can think maybe the Giants think he saw it. Farhands made his crazy moves this in the past year or so, so maybe he's got another one up his sleeve here. So a minor league move here as teams cannot trade within the 40-man roster due to the lockout, obviously. So 
We've been reporting these minor league trades and my thoughts on them. I think the Giants are doing okay here. Just a low risk move. The Braves are getting a solid amount of cash. So they need if a team that needs cash, I mean, every team could use some cash. And, you know, the Braves, that's fine. Just trade in the guy for cash. Usually the team that gets the cash will win this deal. But, you know, the player isn't terrible. Pirates bench coach Don Kelly is withdrawing his name from the Mets managerial search. So you can cross his name off, off the Mets managerial search list. So Kelly, he's been in conversations for a managerial opening for years now. But at the same time, it seems like the managerial position is something uh, Kelly isn't a fan of. He really has uh, not been too interested, it seems, over the last few seasons. And he it seems like he's competent in being the Pirates bench coach or bench coach anywhere in the majors. So that's just Don Kelly. I mean, I respect, respect uh, you know, his role in the MLB. I'm not saying it's bad that he doesn't really want to be a manager, but, you know, I would always want to take the shot, but that's fine. You know, Don Kelly isn't doing anything bad, but the Mets will have to look elsewhere now. The Phillies are pursuing outfielder Kyle Schwarber hard and wanted to get a deal done prior to the lockout, but weren't able to. Talks may gain steam after the lockout. So the Phillies were high on Kyle Schwarber, and they really wanted to sign him before the lockout. Dave Dombrowski, very aggressive general manager, president of baseball operations, whatever you want to say. But... Uh, you know, the Phillies, they were looking at Schwarber. Schwarber, Castellanos were on their list. Conforto was probably on that list as well. Suzuki. So, and they wanted Schwarber, but they weren't able to get a deal done prior to the lockout. But the Phillies will be one of the more active teams. They probably, but you could argue they might be the most active team by the uh, out, the uh, post-lockout, you know, frenzy. So, the Phillies, they're looking for an outfielder to compliment Bryce Harper and maybe even a center fielder as well. So the Phillies could be looking for two outfielders and it looks like that's the case. So I appreciate everyone being here. Sports expert here. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. Like the video. It would mean the world to me. Comment what you think it would mean the world to me. I'm out guys. Sports expert here. This is what we got today in, in today's video. Peace.